Key 99.1 FM, The Key, home of Southern Sports and Talk, Noonan, Sharpsburg, Franklin. I can remember as a child, back in Liberty, Texas, at 131 Navigation Street, at my grandmother's house, Mamie Sip Baldwin. Mama is what we called her. And I can remember on Sunday mornings, if you were in Mama's house, you had to get up for Sunday morning prayer. Think of it if you in my mama's house today on Sunday morning, you got to get up for Sunday morning prayer. And my grandmother knew how to pray. But she had a lot of grandsons. And oftentimes she couldn't think of our names, and sometimes she would just call us all Bubba. And I got some of my first cousins in here and my brothers in here witness to that. But it was something about when mama got down on her knees to pray for us. She could remember all of our names. And there was nothing like that Sunday morning devotion there. And today we want to remember how mama used to pray for us. Come on, quiet, help me say it. I still hear. Pray. Everyone, this is DJ Commando of a 45s Affair radio show where I play all vinyl 45s. You're listening to WQEE 99.1 FM, noon in Georgia. Hello, this is co pastor Patricia McFallen from Applying the Word Ministry. I would like to invite you to tune in to the Sunday School Teacher each Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on this station, WQEE. We will review the weekly lesson, so tune in, I said, Sunday morning at 8 a.m. For the Sunday School Teacher, I'll be waiting for you. Hey, I'm Jimmy Ellison. I'm the pastor here at Noonan City Church. I want to thank you for tuning in to our website and hope that you'll take the time to look throughout the website, all the different activities that are going on in the life of our church. Our purpose statement here at Noonan City is transforming lives for Jesus' sake. And we believe that takes place in three separate pillars. The first one is corporate worship. And we come together each Sunday for our worship services where our focus is on glorifying God. That is the, the purpose, the focus of our of our um, worship services each Sunday. The second pillar is local missions. And we believe that church is not to be contained inside the walls of a building, but rather outside those walls. And we look for opportunities and we have different partners in the community where we partner with other kingdom-minded ministries that are doing kingdom work. And so encouraging our individuals here at the church to be the hands and feet of Jesus outside the walls of our congregation. So that's the second pillar. And the third pillar is our community groups, our small groups where we meet in homes throughout the community here in Noonan. And the focus of these groups is, is simply Bible studies, sitting in the circle, opening up the scriptures, 
and asking the Holy Spirit to speak to us and through us as we study God's Word. So those are the three pillars, and we believe when you do those three things that there's a transformation that takes place in your life, and that will transform your own family and transform our community, and thus making a difference for the sake of Jesus. Again, thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you Sunday. Deborah Harris at Kingdom Connected Ministries International, where my husband and I, Elder Kenneth Harris, are partners and leaders in ministry here in this Newton, Georgia, Coweta County area. I am so blessed and honored today to have my friend, Sandy Hainer, be with me on this broadcast. Oh, what a powerful time we have already had (laughs) in prayer, in conversation. My God, it is so refreshing when you know that people understand the assignment uh, of God. And when we, when you know that people know who God is, Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop and let Sandy introduce herself to the audience. Sandy, tell them who you are. Well, Sandy Hayner. And I've been in Georgia for almost 40 years now. And just I'm really, really grateful. Thank you, thank you, Apostle Deborah. It is yes. an honor to be yes. here. Yes, praise um, God. We've known each other for years and connected different times and knew that the Lord had a connection between us. So just feel like this is just a verification in the beginning of a great work together because God is joining his people and resources together. Yes. This is the time because... God is uniting his people, and that's going on across the field. Yes, yes. We're seeing that right here, right now. So um, I am an administrator with Frontline Missions, and uh, Frontline Missions is a small missions organization with a huge reach that God is using mightily. My We're God. like that kind that, you know, it's small, so it's very maneuverable. Yes, you know, Special yes, ops, yes. special forces to do what God calls you to do, and it's amazing what the Lord is doing through Frontline Missions in multiple nations. You know, we may talk about the details. Of that. Yes, yes. I also have a prayer ministry, Emerge Prayer, that um, we've had for nine, going on ten years that absolutely oh God. love. God called me to do that when I was looking, God, I need a place to pray where it's really what's on my heart. He said, why don't you start your own? <laughs> That's right. And then he just revealed that he'd given uh, a baby. Uh, that was to care for when it was begun in Peachtree City with um, Michelle McCarrihan. Um, and become. Um, so at any rate, and here we are. So we have our paths across many times. Yes, And yes. just appreciate how God has used Deborah and Bless your team Lord. mightily in this Bless area. We were just talking about she's such a covering and such Bless an intercessor Lord. for this area. Bless so thank you again for having me. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so honored that I was able to catch up with you (laughs) because this is a busy lady. She's running and I'm running behind her. So, and and she's right. Our paths have crossed Mm -hmm. many times and we are so blessed to just sit down and connect and talk about this thing. Let me say this to you. Um, Here we are. I shared the scripture, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we could understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Powerful scripture. Yes, Powerful. But what I want to, I just want to, it's a lot that we can say about that scripture. But I want to highlight it says, don't worry about anything, Sandy. 
Well, and that's a good word. Is that not a good word? That's Especially a good for word. today. Yes. Oh my goodness, in the world today, don't worry about anything. It's like oxymoron. How on earth can you not worry about Thank anything you. with everything going on? Just look at the news. How can you say that? That's crazy. It oh, is crazy. Remember. How it's can you crazy. say that? It's crazy. But this is what God is telling us that's through right. the Apostle Paul. That's right. But he said, here's the catch to it, uh, of this first uh, sentence. He says, pray mm, there you go. about everything. Yeah. And, and Sandy, you and I have talked earlier, many times, but in just uh, earlier, uh, before we started the uh, broadcast, and we have said that except we pray, mm -hmm. we're not going to see the answers. We're not going to receive God's presence, his power, and everything that he has to offer uh, everything that he's going to give us in this earth realm. Yes. God expects for us to pray. Why? Because, well, we can say this. He said it's a command. Yeah. It's a discipline. Mm -hmm. It's a command that we must pray. It's mm -hmm. a discipline Amen. that we must pray. And in order to hear from God, in order to be in fellowship with God, all of that is a part of our prayer. Amen. So we're not just uttering a bunch of words, right? But we're looking for answers, and then we are. I, I love the fact that this is an opportunity to be in fellowship with the Father. But Amen. that's important for every believer. But there are so many other benefits with being in fellowship with the Father. Mm -hmm. There's no greater honor in the universe. No in greater all of honor. Eternity. Yes. There's no greater honor. No. No, it's not. So if we just highlight those two areas, mm -hmm. don't worry about anything, pray about everything. Wow. Because there that's you what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. That's what you're doing. That's mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Right. That's what everybody who understands mm -hmm. that prayer is necessary, yeah. take and bring everything to the Father. Mm -hmm. now Lay it on the altar. I want to ask a question. Sorry yes, to yes. No, 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 no. Um, some people could think God can just do it. Why should we pray? And I want to throw a, a come on, at come on. That. That's good. I like and that. And that is because what happened in Genesis? Yes. God told Adam He gave the earth and yes. everything is to Adam. Yes. He says that we're His ambassadors. Yes. In other words, because God is one of His words, He has given the earth to man. Who yes. He has authority. My God. God isn't going to step in and, well, he does at times step in because yes, he's sovereign yes, yes. and because he's got an end game. But in this time, he's calling us to be the ones he works through. Because yes. the authority was given to man. Man handed it over to Satan. We know yes, the story. there you go. And there, that's why Jesus called him the prince of the power of the earth. Yes, yes. Prince, not king, but yes. prince. That's a really, that was a very real place. But our position as ambassadors, wherever we are as ambassadors, that means the kingdom of heaven is there. Because yes. we have an ambassador and an ambassadorship. Where they are, the the laws of their country are the laws that abide in that territory. That my God, have. my so God. So here we on. are. God is saying, I'm calling you to pray. But God, you can just do it. No, I'm doing it through you. My and not God, only that, because on. he's given us that authority, it's our position. And that's why it's kind of like, and that's where, as you were saying, it doesn't happen unless we pray or agree with heaven and do whatever he has us to do. Because prayer is more than just words. There's a whole lot to pray. Yes. But he has called us because he's given the earth to man. And it's going to be decided by those who take that authority and use it. And that's what we're doing this hour. The body of Christ is waking up. You're the ones. You're the ones that God has anointed to take ownership, as Jesus said, occupy till I come. Till occupy I come. is a military My term. God. Yes. It's a military yes. term. Yes. Occupy till I come. Take the territory I have given you. My God. Send it. My God. You said a lot. Now, let me let me say this based on what you're saying, what you've already said. Okay, we know that Adam uh, and Eve lost their privileges uh, because of sin, all right? So then God said to Adam, you're going to have to work. So prayer is a discipline, as I say. Now, you've got to work, Adam, and everybody else is going to have to work. So God is not going to give us anything. 
They had everything from the beginning, didn't they not? Mm -hmm. In the garden. Mm -hmm. No, you have to work now. So yes, we have to be disciplined to pray. Then, you mentioned authority. In prayer, this is where we get our authority. We get our authority to occupy in the earth with authority. It does not come without praying. You know, we cannot be a lazy people, but we have to be fervent. We have to be active. We have to be dutiful, military term. We have to be engaged in this earth through yeah. prayer. Yeah. You know, we can we can't be engaged in this earth uh just by what? By by um by sitting and looking at TV. <laughs> by being at the ball game. By doing all the things that we do, we cannot be engaging and dutiful towards the things of God. If we're only doing that. Right. But if we are praying, mm -hmm. this is our assignment. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about my assignment, your assignment. It's an assignment for the body of Christ. Amen. 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 Um, I want to share something with yes, you. Yes, please do. What the Lord um, revealed to me at the beginning of Emerge. It was like the birth of Emerge. Yes. And um, he gave me a vision when I was in a school of ministry. And in this, in this vision... Uh, Jesus took my hand and went straight up. Yes. Straight up. And then he sat me on this on this uh, throne, a chair. Yes. He sat me on this chair. My God. And then he put a crown on my head. And he put a robe around me. And yes. He gave me a scepter representing yes. a throne. Wow. Wow. Yes. And, yes. And the robe representing royalty. Yes. Yes. And he gave me a scroll. My God, the word. And I was supposed to open the scroll. I mm -hmm. opened the scroll, and there were different points there. Yes. And they were things that had been determined in heaven. My God. And I was to agree with them, and I was to decree them. Here I am, looking down on the earth. My God. Vision. Yes. And so I was to decree those points that had been decided in heaven. Yes. And then, as I did that, Jesus, who was there beside me, took the scroll, and he took my hands, and we danced. My God. Mm. And then he gave me another scroll, and I was to read that and declare it. Yes. And then he took my hand and we danced. Wow. In other words, intimacy, authority. Yes. Intimacy, authority. authority. When you talk about authority and what it's birthed out of, I want to say that another thing, and we both know this, yes. it's yes. birthed out of it, intimacy. Yes. And that's yes. eternal life, to know him. Yes. And, and, and Jesus Christ, the Father, and to know Jesus Christ whom he has sent. But it's birthed out of intimacy. And I want to point out then one other thing regarding that. I just think it's amazing. You want to know the heart of God. Yes. What does the book of Genesis start, Genesis start with? It starts with a wedding. Yes, yes. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, yes. It ends with a wedding. Yes. Of Jesus and his bride. Yes, and isn't it Jesus' awesome? first sign is at the wedding of Cana in the yes. book of John. Okay. This is his intimacy and out of that intimacy comes that authority because we're seated in Christ reigning in him and then it becomes a delight it's like mm. I can't do anything but yes I must I must move with you Lord your heart is my heart yes and so that's where that's what God is calling us to a greater level of intimacy yes and in that intimacy as as you know that's where we begin to understand and operate out of that authority. That's where we see ourselves. That glory that he set in us begins to break forth and reveal yes, itself. Yes. That's where the world sees the declaration of Jesus Christ. Through his yes. Kingdom. Yes. Through, through us. Yeah. Through but us. Here's, the, here's the downside to that, uh, Sandy, is that if we never come to that place of intimacy... Mm -hmm. Uh, intimacy that speaks of relationship, right? That speaks of fellowship. Right. If we never come to that place of intimacy with Christ, mm. we will not get the authority. We will right. not walk in the authority right. that we need yeah. to be conquerors. Amen. To be victorious. Yeah. To to walk in victory. Yeah. Uh, and Amen. so many of us, and I think you alluded to this earlier, so many of us are. Believing that, okay, God, why should I pray? 
I don't need to pray. God, if you know all things, if you see all things, mm -hmm. which we know he does, right. if you are able to be everywhere, then why do I need to pray? But, but it goes back to intimacy. Right. It goes back to relationship. Right. It's like if you and I were uh, spouses, what? we're not, but if we were, mm -hmm. just for an example, you, I'm the man, you the, the wife, uh, there is no relationship that does not communicate. That does oh, not go. interact. Absolutely. And and let's let's take it from here. We are just who we are. You're Sandy, I'm Deborah. Well, in order for us to say we know each other, that means that we have communicated. Right. We have interacted so with good. each other. Amen. Okay? So good. And uh so it would it be with me and my daughter. Mm -hmm. How can she claim me as a mother? I claim her as a daughter, but we never communicate. Mm -hmm. We never interact. Right. Now, sadly, we know that that's the case with in certain situations, but that's not the norm. It's not how it should be. Mm -hmm. It should be interaction. Mm -hmm. There should be communication. And this is what we're talking about. Yeah. Is coming to the heart of God. Mm. With intimacy, with relationship, mm -hmm. just pouring fellowship, just pouring my heart out to God. Right. And he takes that, he he receives it, and he began to act on my behalf. Right. Not that he didn't know it. Mm -hmm. He knew all about it before sure. I came. And I can just imagine, I can imagine a, a husband being upset with a wife. Be, because he knows some things that she should be bringing to him, but she never bring them to him. Mm -hmm. He's he's supposed to be that authority figure in the house, right? But she never bring those things to the mm -hmm. husband. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Acting independently as if as if he doesn't yeah. matter. Mm -hmm. Same thing with God. Right. And God wants us to to do that. Is that's a loving Heavenly Father. Yeah. He wants us to depend on Him. Is that not amazing? That is that he amazing. He wants to be there. He knows how many hairs are on our head. He knows when a sparrow falls to the ground. Yes. He cares. Here yes. he is. Overall, you know, uh, he's above time. He's outside of time. He's, yes. he's created everything. Yes. He says to this mountain be moved, it's moved. And yet he cares about the very details of our life. Yes, we've all he seen does. It. That is an amazing God. And so he calls us into that intimacy. And yes. let's release that call to intimacy. Yes. We release that to each one listening yes. and the people of God yes. at this time. Yes. Because yes. this is a time when the bridegroom is calling to his bride. He's yes. calling, come, make room for me. Make room for me. Yes. And he's coming and he's drawing in near. And it's like the, the hand on the on the door handle in the book of Solomon. Yes. And when he, she hears his voice, this is the time. And as we respond and we get up and leave the comfortableness of whatever might be drawing us, yes. whatever might have Thank captured you. our hearts, Thank you. then we say, no, I will respond to my lover. And we yes. go and respond to that. We are going to see mm. our lives take on a whole different whole dimension. New. Because that's what we were created for. Yes. We were created for relationship and intimacy with him. It's in that Amen. we find out who we are and what we're living for. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. that is that is awesome. That is awesome. And you are absolutely right. And 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 as you were talking, what came to my uh spirit is the fact that we plan for other weddings, but we're not planning for the one that will wow. count the most. Wow. We, we're not planning for that. I mean, we go out of the way, Sandy. Yeah, it's true. We spend unnecessary money. Mm -hmm. We buy <laughs> the biggest ballrooms, mm -hmm. the most expensive ballrooms, mm -hmm. but we're not planning for the wedding wow. that will count the most. Mm -hmm. We've got to, we are the bride. Yeah, we are. But, and, and look, Think about, think about, since we're on this, think about how we beautify ourselves for the groom. 
But are we adorning ourselves for the true bride, the true groom? That's so Jesus. Good. Amen. Are we are we are we getting and listen, we can take every aspect of what we do, getting our hair prepared, mm -hmm. getting our face made up, up, getting our wedding dress. Mm -hmm. And we can take each one of those things and we can just go down the list and we can and we can say, uh, you know, our faces should be, and I'm not going to do everything. I'm just going to do this one day. Our faces uh, as the bride of Christ should have the light of Christ. Amen. We should be yes. adorned with his oh, light. So good. Amen. You yes. know, Absolutely. so that the world can see yes. Amen. him in us. Right. Which is what you said similar. Mm -hmm. But we're not doing that. Mm. And, and, and again, I can just go down the list. Mm -hmm. We are not preparing for the wedding mm -hmm. that will count the mm -hmm. most. And how do we prepare for it? Through prayer. Mm -hmm. Because prayer is so powerful and so key mm -hmm. in everything that we do mm -hmm. for Jesus. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a fuel to every work. Yes. That is what invites him. That's what brings in what's needed. The resources of heaven. It connects heaven and earth. Yes, 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 yes. It's so true. Yeah. And if we could do that, if we could just grasp to, if we can grasp that mm. concept and that thought, we would be so better, so much better off. Mm. Now, Sandy, uh, we're talking about prayer, and we're talking about praying about mm. everything. We're talking about worry about nothing. And you said it earlier. How can we not worry? How can we not be concerned? <laughs> right. Because everything is topsy-turvy. Yes. And I mean, I was praying this morning. And I said to God, I said, God, wickedness, Ezekiel uh, described, it, described it like this. He said, sin has become so great and I, mm. I I mean it has it has blossomed it has come to a full bloom mm -hmm. of yes. the flower right and so when you think about a flower you 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 know it it doesn't when you plant it it doesn't bloom immediately mm -hmm. but it goes through the stages right and then after a while it's fully bloomed right. and it's beautiful mm -hmm. but seeing has become a full... Yes, full maturity. Full maturity. Yeah. I mean, it's yes. everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's all over the place. Blatantly, it doesn't even hide itself Look, anymore. Look, and this, that's right, because I tell mm -hmm. i tell the guys, I said, it's in our face. Mm -hmm. It's in mm -hmm. our face. You can't miss it. Right. And you know that it's in mm -hmm. because of the wicked details, the evil cry of it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and I'm saying, God... We know that you're greater mm -hmm. than anything that can happen in this earth realm. God is greater. And God can do whatever he wants to do concerning that situation. And I'm praying, God, expose it, pull yes. it down, Amen. burn it up. Amen. I mean, drown it, yeah. kill it, yeah. sin, <laughs> sin. Yes, amen. Not, not the people. No. Uh, you know, committing the sin, mm -hmm. but the sin itself. Right. Do away with it. Expose it, God. Right. Show us what we powers, need to see. Unseen powers. Bro. Yes. Show mm -hmm. us what we need to see. Help us to, to to stand against it. Amen. So good. We cannot afford to be sleeping this hour. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you something. Yes. What if part of the reason that maybe we see a level of prayerlessness that can surprise us? Yes. Part of it could be because people feel helpless because of the darkness. Yes. And I want to give a word of hope in that. Give us a word of hope. And that is, I love, one of my, our key scriptures in uh -huh. our prayer is, is Isaiah 61. Okay. And that is when darkness covers the earth. Yes. And gross darkness the people. Yes. The Lord shall arise upon you. My and God. And his glory shall be seen on you. Yes. And the nations will come to the brightness of your shining. My God. It will be Glory. seen. 
You yes. I want to give a, a dream that I had years ago, quickly. Is yes, okay? come on, come on, come and on. And that is um, years ago, and it really so relates to today, and I'm seeing a manifestation of it in many ways. The church that um, used to go to at that point, going in there, and when I was outside it, but it represented the church at last. Yes, yes. And outside, it was, when I was outside, it was like there was this cloud, this darkness, and it wasn't just over that area. I knew it was prevalent everywhere. Yes, And it yes. was as if I, I could see the cloud, and it was as if I could touch it, it would be like steel wool. I okay. Feel it. It would yes. Be, and yes, so and that right. represents witchcraft and sorcery. Yes. Which is so prevalent right now. Oh, and it, it is a is. seducing thing against yes. our children. Just to put that little parenthesis in. Come on now. Come we on. We need to watch out for that and strike it down, yes. recognize it for in what it is, and say no Jesus. to it. Yes. And rescue our children from it. But at yes. any rate, so there was this darkness, and I was aware of this imminent sense of danger. Yes. Like I knew at any time there could be an assault, an attack. I My wasn't God. afraid, yes, but I was oh, very aware. And so as I go into this building that represented the church, God's kingdom here on earth, which yes. is what the church is. Yes, right? yes, Ecclesia. Yes. Ecclesia means governmental body. Yes, So yes. I go in there, and there's um, a lot of activity going on. It wasn't like a typical church. It was a lot yes, of activity yes, and yes. relationship and communication yes. going on in worship. So at any rate, I go. there's this white podium there. And I go there, and some of the leaders of the church were standing around. One of them takes an envelope out from that podium. Okay. And they open it up, and it was a strategy. Okay. That were needed yes. combating this time of darkness. My God. And so they open it up, and they walk around, and there's a hangar. Yes. And a hangar, and there's a helicopter in there. My and God. And the helicopter... Um, goes out and we walk outside and again it's just the same scenario outside but I noticed yes. that there was a huge field next door to it. Yes, huge yes. field. That's the harvest that God is bringing. My God. So Come then on. this helicopter went up, went through that cloud and came back down. There was a perfect perfect opening there. My perfect God. cylindrical opening. Came down, landed and out came a pastor there who was actually um, in the um, Air Force, in the military, yes. representing that military force. And then I could see heaven through that. And I knew the resources of heaven were now available to us. My God. I believe we are supposed to be that door to heaven. Yes. We're supposed to be carrying that kind of, of, of connection with yes. heaven and earth. That, that so we are there. Yes. That pierces through the darkness. Yes. And wherever we are, we go to pray. As you're saying, My God. and to connect with others because yes. that's unity. God wants unity with Him. We yes. He's given us as we step into it, but unity with each other, which we were talking about yes. earlier, because earlier. that's where the gates of hell shall not prevail against the God. Why on. does the devil fight against unity? Yes, Why? because he knows that that's where the power he's is. No, he's defeated. Yes, all he needs is for us My to join God. together and say yes. Yes, yes, we are one. Yes, and so that's what we're doing, and we're saying this place is a place place of your presence. This is a place Thank where darkness Jesus. has to flee. Yes, because God. when the light is on, darkness has no place. Has light place. cannot overcome the darkness, yes. as it says in John mm. 1. We're carriers of the light, the light and the glory of God. In My the time God. of darkness, we need to not be discouraged, but realize, God, it's time for your glory. Yes. Release it. You've already said Release it. Release it, God. And one last verse here, it says, like in John 17, 23, Come on. it says, I and them, this is our marriage verse. Our yes, verse, yes, yes. And I, I and them, and thou and me, that they My may God. be made perfect in one. Yes. That the world might know that no. you have sent, sent me, me, and you've That's loved it. them. Yes. As you have loved me. What? You love us like you yes. love your son, Jesus. That's right. And that he said, and Powerful I pray love. that they would have the glory that you've given me. Me. That's right. That you've given them. them. We bear the same glory, glory. as we yes. walk in that intimacy. Is that not something? No wonder the devil wants to discourage us in prayer. Yes. Because that is where the kingdom of God is released. My God. And we step into that full mm. life that he's called. Yes. And, and, and that's all of the reasons. All of everything that you said is why we should not be discouraged. Amen. Because we get our fight through prayer. <laughs> we get our stamina. Right. We, we, we get our encouragement. Mm -hmm. our, our, we get everything we need through prayer. Yeah. And listen, Sunday, as I make my way, way to prayer every morning, mm -hmm. and I was it just came to me this morning, when I was making my way over here to prayer, the enemy 
started ministering to me. You don't have to go. Why do you have to go every day? That ain't even necessary. Why don't you just stay home? Right. And you know he does that. Oh, sure. And, 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 and he tries to throw obstacles in your way to abort that mission of prayer, to come against the mission of prayer, because he knows everything that prayer does mm -hmm. for the saints. Mm -hmm. Just like you just said, that prayer that Jesus made. First of all, he in that John, Jesus prayed for himself. Then he prayed for the disciples. Mm -hmm. Then he prayed for all the believers. Isn't that not amazing? That is amazing. The high priestly prayer. I mean, that's his heart. That's right before he goes to the cross. Exactly. You want to know his heart? That's his heart. Yes. And then one other little parenthesis. He said, he prayed, I pray that they would be with me where I, I am. am. And where is he? Yes. He's seated the right hand right of the Father. And we are seated in Christ in heavenly places, which goes back to that vision the Lord showed me. That's not just for me. That's oh, no. for us. It's for us. Yeah. And then, you know, and then Apostle Paul told the, told the church of Ephesus that same thing, mm -hmm. that we are seated with mm -hmm. Christ. And Christ and prayed. prayed. Jesus prayed. prayed. It's, you know yes. that's the case. <laughs> and so here we are. Here we are. We're talking about prayer and unity and the importance of prayer. And that why should we be worried about anything? Because here's the deal. When you're in prayer, you don't worry. Mm -hmm. It may strike a chord, but it's one of them things, and it's over. Mm -hmm. It's over. Mm -hmm. There's no more worrying. Because God does not want us to be worried, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. He does not want us to be worried about anything. He wants us to be empowered. He wants us to be engaged. Yes. And he wants us to be enlightened mm -hmm. as to who we are, whose yes. we are. Amen. That's right. And how we are supposed to conduct ourselves yeah. as heavenly citizens. Mm -hmm. We're not citizens of this world. That's right. We're heavenly citizens. That's right. And if we're heavenly citizens, uh, Paul also told the church of Ephesus in, in Ephesians 1, he says, that we have blessings that are in heavenly places. Yeah. So we shouldn't be begging, borrowing, scratching, crying, upset, anxious. We shouldn't be those things. Exactly. If you are operating in a place of prayer. Can I share a yes. word? A yes. Hebrew word that is so powerful to me that really... Yes changed my perspective. Come on. And that is the word peace that we say. Yes. But the Hebrew word is shalom. Shalom. Yes. Now, um, the Hebrew alphabet is amazing because it is. every <laughs> letter has a definition. Yes. And when you look at the definitions then put together, it gives you the meaning of that word. Yes. 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 So, with shalom, there are four letters that yes. make it up. Okay. And the first letter means destruction. Destruction. Doesn't sound very peaceful. No, it doesn't, but come on. Yeah. Come on. Um, it means destruction. The second letter means authority. Authority, my God. And the third letter means it's a vav and it's a connection. Yes, yes. It's a connection. looks like a hook. Yes, yes. And, um, and the fourth one is um, chaos. 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 Wow. So it's a destruction, destruction. Authority, authority, connection, connection. chaos. Wow. So... God's My peace. God. God's peace is not. Let's just get along with everybody. God's peace destroys the authority My connected God. to chaos. Wow, that's what His peace does. Jesus. That's why when Jesus was in the boat and He My said, "Shalom to the storm." Yes. Why was that peace storm be sent? Because the devil was trying to keep him abort to him. Set that demoniac free. My he did God. not want that demoniac free. No, I mean, he that did had not. a legion of devils. You know that thing was controlling that, that whole area, region. That whole region. That whole region. That's right. And Jesus was You're going right. there to set that place set free, it free. And then set him as an evangelist. The devil yes. did everything he could. He took out and sent a story That's right. to take them mm. down. Jesus was not worried, like you said. No, no he worry. Wasn't. Disciples were, woke him up. He said, Why? Why is this? Why are you not believing me? That's Why? it. Because before they left, he said, let's go to the other side. Yes. That's what he said. 
That's what he but said. But it's like he said it. We'll get to the other side. Yes. So when he said shalom, the destruction of the authority My behind that storm God, was destroyed. Jesus. The storm yes. was gone. It was peaceful. They went there. He set the demoniac free. Yes. That's the power of God's peace. It is. It is. That is powerful, Sandy. That is good. That will encourage us in prayer, huh? That is good. <laughs> if we <laughs> could pray right there. I know. I declare peace. Yes. We declare peace in the yes. storms of yes. life that all of that oh. those listeners are in. We yes. declare peace because God is a God of all peace. His peace is a peace that passes all yes. understanding. His peace My is the release God. of heaven into earth. Yes. His peace is the connection of heaven yes. and earth. We release it to you and in knowing and understanding through the Holy Spirit yes. what that means and that you have the authority to call upon that peace. My God. So we have grace to walk in that intimacy. I mean, the chains that the enemy has tried to put on people to keep them from God. That's it. It's broken in Jesus' name. And look at this. Look at this. That is so good. But here's the deal. One of the reasons, one of the re one of the main reasons that he did not want that the money act free because he was afraid of what he carried. What did the money act carry? That demoniac in that area, when Jesus set him free, Start evangelizing yeah. the whole region. <laughs> the whole region. Right. And most often, <laughs> when storms come into our lives, yeah. we cannot give up right. because there's something in us that Jesus oh, is trying so to good, release Deborah. out of us. So good. Amen. For not just for ourselves. Yeah. The demoniac wasn't wasn't uh, 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 delivered from. The demons that he carried for him to say, look at me. I'm saved. I'm free. Let me go just live in my house and be mm -hmm. satisfied. No. Mm -hmm. He was released for a work. There you go. And most often, and this is why we're praying, Sandy. Mm -hmm. We're praying for people to be released and delivered for a work mm -hmm. that's in them. Mm -hmm. That God, only God knows what it is. Yeah. Only God knows what that work is. So mm -hmm. our prayer always is for the work, for people to be delivered, for people to be set free, for them to be saved yeah. so that they can walk in their purpose. Yeah. And then, because it's like a domino effect, I get saved. I need to be discipling somebody else. Mm -hmm. That somebody disciples somebody else. Mm -hmm. That somebody disciples. And it goes on and on and on. We, we're not praying for us to just get a big house and a fine car. Mm -hmm. If you do the work, God will bless you in doing the work. Mm -hmm. Because his word supports that throughout the scripture. That we need to be in tune with God. You know, John uh, 15 and 7 says um, that if my word abide in me. Mm -hmm. My word about in you, and you about in my word, you can ask for what you shall, and it shall be done. Right. Now, there's a work to do, right. always in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. No time to be relaxed. And I love to use the expression, I said I was going to get that rocking chair and put it on the pulpit. We don't have time to be rocking our lives away. You can rest mm -hmm. after you've been doing the work. Because mm -hmm. we all know we need rest. Our bodies need rest. But if we're always finding ourselves in a resting position, I'm talking about literally doing nothing. Right. What good are we to the kingdom of God? Mm -hmm. And so I propose that there's a rest that he wants us to walk in as we do the work. And we there, it that. is. And that's and it we is. operate out of his rest. We operate out of his peace. Yes. And then there's a refreshing as we go. It's like Jesus. Yes. When he went to Samaria and he's like exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. Yes. So tired he told the disciples, you go get food. I have to sit here. That's he it. was exhausted. Yes. And yes. yet, and so when they come back after he talked to the woman at the well, yes. and there Jesus is refreshed. It's like, yes. what yes. happened? Did somebody else give you food? I know. He said, my meat is to do, do the, the will, will of, of him, him who sent, sent me. me. So yes. as we, it's not the, and we know this, it's not that we do work to please God. No, 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 we, no. We do with God. Yes. And I love the, you know, who was it that we used to sing the dooby 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 doo? 
um, who was that? That's Frank Sinatra. I don't know. Someone okay, way back. Okay, okay. But the fact, but the fact is, God's calling us to be. <clears throat> yes. And out of that be, we yes. do. And that's where the power of heaven is released. Yes. So may we do that? May, may we? Do, and we'll switch it to be do be do be do. <laughs> okay. But that's Fix going it up. Out. Right. But we're going out of that rest. So yes. it's not the. It's it's. It's following him moment by moment. My he God. could say, go aside, go aside and, and rest. Yes. And then he did to the disciples. But then he's going to say, I have this for you. Yes. Do this. Yes. And as we lean on him and listen to his heartbeat, can I tell a quick testimony? Quick. About yes, yes, okay. yes, so, absolutely. Um, so I was in Brazil with Frontline Missions. It was okay. one of my assignments to go there to Brazil. Amazing time. Okay. I won't go into okay. detail except to say, I was out there early in the morning. I was <sighs> asking the Lord, what is your heart? Yes. What is your heart for today? Yes. And just listening. And the Lord said, resurrection. My God. I said, yes. Lord, I wow. agree. I yes. agree for the release of your resurrection life. Yes. Over this property, over each one here. And just prayed into that. Agreed. He simply said, resurrection. Mm. And I agreed. I said, what is your heart? That's what he said. So I released it over the, over the property, God's work, every person there, etc. Later that day. That evening, actually, as dusk came, yes. two of the people, one was a worship leader and uh, one was another leader. It's an uh, indigenous community that was a yes. training center there, yes. and we were there yes. for a conference. So um, Jesse, the um, worship leader, and a friend, Eliezer, went to on a bike, one bike, okay. shared the bike to go to the grocery store okay. to get some groceries for the family. Yes. The grocery store was closed, and then they were attacked by Venezuelan refugees. My God. And they were attacked. <clears throat> Eliezer was able to escape. Jesse was assaulted and left for dead. My He was God. left for dead, taken to the hospital, considered, considered dead. We knew wow. nothing of this. Knew but nothing. do you know God raised him up? Oh, God I saw, I knew raised that was him up. Yes. That resurrection life. What's on your heart, Lord? Resurrection, resurrection. happened to the worship leader. We didn't know about it till later. But God brought resurrection life to him. What is your heart? But but in order for you to get that word, what were you doing? Praying. I was praying. You were in fellowship with God. Yeah, I was listening. You were, you were having an intimate moment. I was leaning on him. My listening God. Listening to his heartbeat. Yes. What is your heart? And, 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 and then I released heaven into the situation. Into the situation. Because he gave you that word. Mm -hmm. You then in turn spoke it. Mm -hmm. And it became reality. Not and even knowing. Not, not even knowing. knowing. And most, most often we don't know. Mm -hmm. exactly. But but the, God will reveal those situations to us. He will let us He will let us really get a glimpse of heaven yeah. and earth by doing things like that. Yeah, exactly. and, and and except you were praying, you might not have gotten that word. Oh, yeah. What if you were sleeping mm -hmm. in? No, no. You wouldn't have gotten that word. No. But Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is powerful. And that's where I am and that's what I believe. Because God has given me some powerful mm -hmm. um, instructions mm -hmm. as I was praying and, and, and listening to the heart of God. Because he, the psalmist says to us, I, I don't know the exact place, but the psalmist says to us that God bends down his ear. Mm -hmm. to hear mm -hmm. us yes. when we pray. And I, it, since, listen, I can visualize that. I can see God. I Look, I can actually visualize him bending down his ear. Right. Look, it's like, yeah. you know how we do, uh, mm -hmm. what, what you say? Mm -hmm. Bending down his ear to hear us. Wow, what a powerful. And that's out of love. Yes. Because of the immense love that we cannot even imagine. Don't have that a clue. He has for us. Don't have a clue. Would that not blow us away if we saw the fullness of his love? My God. Ephesians yes. 3. Read Ephesians 3, the prayer of Paul. Yes. That I, he prayed, I pray you know the height, depth, length, yes, and breadth of the love it. of Christ, that you might be filled Feel. with the fullness of yes. God. And yes. out of that, again, that we pray. That's we are it. so loved. We are. What else would we want to do? I, I mean, really. <laughs> And, and all of this, Sandy, um, all of this, what you're saying, what I've said, what we're saying together, mm. uh, is that it, it comes out of a love yeah. 
for the Father. Yeah. We have to love the Father so intimately, so uh, deeply that we want to spend time with yeah. him. And my prayer always, Sandy, is God. I love you more today mm. than I did on yesterday. Yeah. See, yesterday was Thursday. I loved God on yesterday. But guess what? Today, I love him even the more. Oh, there you go. There you Every go. day, my love yeah. for God grows deeper and deeper. Yeah. And it's not, it's not a form or fashion. It's, it's not a show. But it's sincere intimacy with God yeah. because I spend time with him and he spends time yeah. with me. Yeah. Yeah, I talk to him, he talks to me. Uh, I am obedient to his word and then he display yeah. his love, his character and his presence mm -hmm. in my life, so over good. my life because of my fellowship and my time in prayer, I, I get everything that I need. Right. And you know, a lot of people are thinking that they can just get stuff from, from God without spending any time with Him. God does enough for us anyway without us spending time with Him. But look at how much more He will do. Oh, it's what if He made we us spend for. Time. Yeah. It's His love to open up. The, I mean, the greatest opportunity, the greatest honor in the whole world is to go before the throne of God yes. that God has open access to and even tore the veil. Yes. Now yes. I want to say one other thing about uh, my, my prayer time. Like I found in my prayer time my nails are really needy because I've been working out my garden a lot. I'm weeding. I know, I know. Well, I've been finding in my prayer time mm -hmm. the Lord's been causing me to weed the garden of my heart. My God. And that's part of, I that also believe, awesome. of the authority. Yes. You know, God said, the, word, the Ten Commandments says, you know, you shall have no other gods before you. No other Now, God. we may not have idols, but what are we putting before God? Amen. And what are things that Come we're on. focusing on instead of him? And Come on. And good things. So, and, you know, I'll just say, you know, for me, I found that I had attitudes I needed to deal with. That's right. I needed to lay them down. I need to see this is flesh, and I have to say no to it. My God. So I had to do, mm. I've had to do a lot of weeding in my own yes. heart. And so I just want to say that that is such an important part. It's part of what we do for him. God, what is it that's between you and me? Forgive me. Cleanse me. Oh and that prepares me so I can have that intimacy and the things that seem to get in the way you, get removed. Thank God for his mercy. He helps yes. us. The Holy Spirit will show us. Sunday, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to let you close us out because we've run out of time. I told you the first <laughs> minute. I know. You know. Like that. Um, I just, we talked about that in Bible study Wednesday night. The flesh. What does it look like mm -hmm. to be in the flesh? And we talked about attitudes. Mm -hmm. So that's confirmation mm -hmm. right there. That's confirmation right there. But Sandy, tell us, what can you say to the people? What can you say to them? As we close this segment out, and I am going to say you and I are going to have to get together again. Not right away because I know you have to take off from work. <laughs> but we're going to have to get together again. But what can you say to the people? I will say that you are chosen by God. Yes. You are watching this not by accident. Yes. But God has his hand on you. Thank you, Jesus. And God is looking to release his purposes for you in a new way. Oh my God. You have a position of authority in the heavens, but also here on the earth. There are those among you that have yes. platforms that God says, I want you to step up to it. Oh my God. And, and our hearts can say, but God, I can't do that. But I'm telling you, God will give you the grace. And yes. God will open up the doors and bring the connections that you need. Yes. It is time. We declare, come forth, righteous ones. You're a part yes. of the answer of what God is doing. It is in prayer, and that's where it's all birthed. And out of prayer, you're going to find, you're going to step into an assignment that is going mm. to make you more alive than you ever were. Bring in adventures that you never knew. So I challenge you, listen Thank to you. the Lord. Come before him. Quiet yourself before him. My Say, God. Lord, let your light shine in me. Cleanse me of what I need to be cleansed from. Yes. And then, Lord, how can I walk with you? Yes. And I'll tell you that walk is an adventure you'll never regret. 
never so repay. we just My release God. god's grace to you we release god's yes. purposes to you you're going to see them in a new way we can declare open doors before you yes. in the mighty name of jesus we declare the obstructions the enemy has put before you we say be gone in the mighty name of jesus you yes. have no place and we thank you lord these are your own let them hear you call their name My and see god. your love for mm, them which is mm. passes anything we yes. can understand that we together might be filled with the fullness of god unite us as one yes and we thank Thank you, God, that the earth is going to see the glory of God through his people. My in God, Jesus in Jesus' name. Glory. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Sandy, this has been a blessing. This has been a blessing. So, Facebook audience, friends, share this video. Powerful, powerful. Share this video. And give us your comments as you have listened. Go back to listen. Give us your comments in Jesus' name. And until next Friday, be safe. And be blessed in <laughs>